अखंड बिहारी
ಶ್ರೀಮಹಾಭಾಗವತಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತಂ ಸಹ ಗಣರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನಾ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯದೇವೃಷ್ಣಪಾನ್ ಸಹ ಗಣರಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ನಮಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತಸ್ವಾಮಿನೇ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರೋಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ This is Bahadur Palli, right? Very happy to be at Bahadur Palli Center here. Where all of you devotees come together daily for a beautiful morning program and uh, evening programs and uh, weekly classes, morning classes. Why are we so serious about spiritual life uh, while everybody in the world is busy with something else? many of your friends may ask you are why are you so serious at this age this is the age to just enjoy life <clears throat> you'll see often times when you are a young boy it is very difficult to uh, recognize the real problems of life uh, which are birth old age disease and death <clears throat> when the sufferings come in life most people in young age even deny the suffering they say i don't care about suffering okay just go and take a pill from the doctor you just swallow the pill and drink water in 3 days you will be all right correct no most people think like that this problem can be easily solved not a big deal just close the door you know they think like that <clears throat> there are people who don't say there is no suffering uh, they say there is suffering but we will oppose suffering uh, like for example it's getting going to get very hot now then you put on the fan it was getting cold we'll have a heat pump you know this corona we'll put a mask you know everybody was wearing mask at that time and any problem comes man thinks that i will find out some solution to it 
and go on with life. So, there are people who deny suffering, there are people who oppose suffering, there are people who try to adjust to suffering and go on. They think that, like sometimes uh, somebody gets a fracture in the leg, then they put a mold and they wait for some time till it gets cured, correct? Mm. And there are more serious uh, damages to body than fractures. Sometimes a person dies also in an accident in this world. So, it is uh, seen in this world, people try their best. Whatever problems come in life, if you just make uh, some slight adjustment, we can go on. Once Srila Prabhupada was in uh, Vrindavan, he saw that, you know, there was a bird who was trying to make a nest in a hole in, in the cottage he was staying. And the devotee was trying to stop the bird from making it by putting a paper ball inside that. But the bird, with its beak, it pulled it out and continued to bring hay and uh, stock it there so that he can make a nest in that place. Prabhupada told the devotee, this bird is creating a lot of uh, noise in the early morning. Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo, it makes sounds. I don't want this disturbance so that I can do my translation work peacefully. Then the devotee took on cardboard, very tightly made it and inserted it. Now the bird couldn't do anything. He brought one more mate also. Both of them went round, round, round. They tried to choo 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 trying to take it out. <laughs> so at last, after half an hour, they accepted the defeat and went away. So Prabhupada brought out a very deep lesson from this. He said that, you see, in this world, uh, Maya is also throwing sand in our plants. Huh? You will see that if a boy gets a very good mark, he's jumping like a monkey, very happy. Huh? Isn't it? And he gets poor marks, he fails, he becomes depressed and morose. He doesn't go to meet his friends. Similarly, a boy is passing out of his course. He got placed in a company. People are very proud. I got placed in persistent, cognizant, ignorant, some company. Huh? Some company, correct? No? Some famous uh, IT company. You got placed. People will go around with their appointment order and say that I got placed. Uh, I got placed. They're very happy, very proud. And sometimes a boy got placed, but the company says, come after 12 months or after 18 months. You've seen that? But that means what? They are not very sure whether they want you or not. You wait, 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 and 18 months have passed till they don't call you. Then one is very, one has a semi-hope. Huh? When you got a job, you have great hope. When you don't uh, get immediately placed, they prolong you, it's a semi-hope. And when you don't get placed at all, then? Huh? No. Oh, no hope and great tension. All other friends have got placed and I didn't get placed. People become depressed. Even suicidal thoughts people get. Huh? Boys, boys become very, very morose. And all the uncle is calling, aunt is calling, uh, father is calling, brother is calling. Kya hua, kya hua? Your studies are getting over. Every time you get a call about the job, you feel very, very uneasy. But then after you get placed in a job also, you go to company. After one or two years, sometimes the company lays off in a big number nowadays. Correct, no? In uh, like Google or Amazon, 20,000, 30,000 people they are laying off because AI is coming up now, correct? No? Artificial intelligence is picking up now. The more they make, you know, the AI toys huh, or robots, huh, then they are trying to even replace even the receptionists also. They are trying to make the robot smile. It's all plastic, huh? it's all steel and plastic, but they just give program in the toilet. Like that. Huh? They make the plastic smile. Huh? Cardboard face, plastic smell, we used to joke before, now actually plastic smell now, <laughs> literally. So they, in airport, if you go nowadays, they are reducing the number of manpower, did you observe it? Huh? So like that, many, many jobs are getting replaced. So in those days, Brahman, Chatra, Vaishya, Shudra, that categorization was there. People, according to their, you know, nature, they fitted very well in villages. And village was a small village. Huh? In one village, you know, probably maximum 500,000 people will live. It's like one family only. <laughs> if one girl gets married, whole village will know. One boy gets a job, whole village will know it. Correct or not? If the word gets around. And they never had a WhatsApp or anything, you know. Just word gets around, people know it. And uh, somebody is getting married, whole village will come. 
Correct, no? So it's a small village and they have a temple in the village. People come to temple for festival. You know? People go for marriage, everybody comes. You know, and every family has joined family. 40, 40, 50, 50 people stay together. So family is also a big family. They stay together cooperatively. And the village also is a small village. And from one village to the neighborhood village, there will be very less interaction. At the most, they may give their daughter in marriage to the neighborhood village. So that the coming going will be easy. Otherwise, if you think, you know, a few decades ago, between one village and another five hours distance or ten hours distance, interaction was very less, very minimal interaction. So because there is not much information from different places, you live a very peaceful life. You, your village, your people and... Uh, and I remember in, when we were small kids, mother, father, sometimes we'll be sitting in the, just near the steps of the house and we'll be just sitting. There's nothing serious to do. Anybody remember sitting like that? Correct, no? Now the next generation you cannot see, nobody will sit now. Everybody is running, running now. <clears throat> Correct, no? So life has become super busy now. So because of this, what has happened? In those days, Brahmanas had their pujari service in the temple. And they would uh, study Shastras and preach. And food came very easily from the farm. And you know, vegetables, fruits. Village expenditure is hardly anything. Huh? Similarly, Chatriyas are the administrators, are the panchayat leader. They are ruling. Taking, you know, any, anybody is creating trouble, they will set it right. Chatriya people. And the Vaishyas, they protect the cows, trading, farming, cow protection. Right now. Yeah. And the other fellows, they, uh, they don't know... Uh, what to do, but whatever they are told to do, they will do. Huh? Okay, come here, lift this. Okay, keep it there. Bring this, bring that. You know, this godi, lift it up. They will do it. And then they got their foot clothing shelter also. Huh? Other people. Life was very, very, basically very simple life it is. But now, although jobs are big, salaries are fat, everything looks very attractive, but the problem is you will be laid off from the job. Huh? You will be shown the door, get up. Huh? Suddenly, any time, imagine you are giving a you are given a fat salary, you are floating in the air, suddenly you are asked to quit the job. Is it tension or not? So big tension it is. Because it's a humiliation also. People will say that are you are in a big job, now they laid you off. Nowadays, when I go anywhere, I don't ask the boys what are you doing. Because many boys have lost their jobs and they are in search of another job. And when you ask publicly, it becomes a little painful for them hmm, to say that I lost my job, correct now? Therefore, it is said, never ask a girl about her age and a boy about his job. Okay. <laughs> they will get insulted. So, because modern day society is increasing our tension, increasing our fears, and it is causing depression, loneliness, and feeling of incompetence, feeling of loss of self-esteem, which is a very, very bad thing actually. In village, you will see that even a man who doesn't know any big thing, he just knows only one thing. And he is very proud and very happy, correct or not? He is very confident. Like a kumar, for example, he can make. And he just keeps on doing this every day. Just keeps on going and making part and, and then it gets sold also very easily. Similarly, there are people who take out some peru, you know, some gova, and they will just put a cloth and then put the peru and it gets sold out. And he gets his daily money. Yeah, actually, India is glorified by all across the globe people for small, small businesses. There are fellows selling this, taka, 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 the children play, no? He knows only how to make it. Huh? And then he sells and children buy it, balloon wala, balloon he sells. So there are people who make easy money and they, they don't have big, uh, what do you call it, expectation. Huh? Okay, you got some money, food comes from your farm, some money you saved, they are very happy and contented and satisfied. Typical Indian family, you will see that. Huh? But now the times have changed. Big industries, huh? big buses, big trains, fast trains. Huh? People are flying in planes, huh? carrying suitcase. They have to make a big money. Nobody is satisfied with little money. Hmm? So the society has laid out terms for you. You know, to validate you as an intelligent man, you have to show off. Huh? You have to make a lot of money. You have to do big things, travel across the globe and Possess a lot of money, big bank balance and big following, mm -hmm. adding to, to the social media also. Social media, what is your presence? Are you in LinkedIn or not? 
ఆర్ ఇన్ యూట్యూబ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఆర్ నాట్ అదర్వైజ్ యూ ఆర్ అ నాన్ ఎంటిటీ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ద ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ సొసైటీ ఈజ్ లేయింగ్ డౌన్ నామ్స్ ఫర్ యూ టు కన్సిడర్ యూ యాజ్ ఎ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మ్యాన్ ఆర్ అ యూస్లెస్ మ్యాన్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ బట్ ఈ ఆర్ స్ట్రగ్లింగ్ టు ప్రూవ్ టు ద వరల్డ్ దర్ ఐఎమ్ ఆల్సో ఇంపార్టెంట్ లుక్ అట్ మీ ఆల్సో కరెక్ట్ నా సో దాట్ కాస్ ఇస్ అనదర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ టెన్షన్ to be seen as a important man and to have a job that will from where you will not be laid off there is kuch bharosa nahi nobody can you know say that your situation is safe nowadays it's a very deadly situation in the modern times now but most amazing thing is in this world of emergency the living beings are still stuck in complacency that's the most amazing thing although every moment the world is creating fear and emergency now in america if somebody got sick my lord you have to go to the hospital and they may put you in queue yeah. lot of protocols norms one has to follow yeah. it's not like you got some health issue went to ayurvedic doctor he gave some powder you ate it and it became all right <laughs> it's not just a small thing now you go to the hospital they will say you know, take ct scan take x ray go and check your weight go on to the blood test go on to the cholesterol test this test that test and after that when they show the bill to you you will die on the spot <laughs> all the tests are useless <laughs> then so that is the situation after so so much money is spent correct no for something small and also billboards are advertising you can see in india also you know when you are between 30 to 40 better you take care of this one 40 to 50 take care of that one because hospitals are thinking that we are not getting enough customers <laughs> little bit advertise and tell them if you want your child to be safe do this test do that test yeah. like somebody is saying you know my wife is looking like this husband is looking like that maybe she was some scan we should do in the head you know? <laughs> but everything scan now <laughs> isn't it so the the uh, people are uh, power hungry money greedy huh? and jobs uh, in job situation is very vulnerable hmm? and although many people want to stop the rapid progress of ai field but the ai field is progressing by whom the top fellows who are rich fellows they are funding it because they want to reduce the employees and increase the work done by yeah. machines so that they don't have to depend on the human element they can get things done by machine very easily so the rich will become richer poor will become poorer that's the way the world is you know so this these are not at all very amazing to me when i see these things because what is this age called as kali yuga so let us read one conversation by prabhupada on kali yuga i want two devotees huh? read this in columbus ohio yes. uh, in may 1969 allen ginsberg and, uh, and propad uh, they both are discussing one of you talked uh, about shil propad's uh, voice and then allen ginsberg go ahead go to two devotees yeah go ahead shil propad lord buddha is accepted as an incarnation of krishna This is stated in the Bhagavatam. He is accepted as the ninth incarnation. Baladevi is the eighth and the tenth is awaiting. Now, go ahead, read it. Alan's guilt. Kalki. Kalki. Go ahead. Now, what is Kalki's nature? That is described in the Bhagavatam. He will come just like a prince with royal dress and sword on horseback, simply killing, no preaching. There will be no brain to understand God. There will be no brain to understand God? People will be so dull, it requires a brain to understand. So, Kalki comes at the end of Kali Yuga? Yes. Then Satya Yuga will begin. Which is? Satya Yuga is the pious age. People will be pious, truthful, long living. Are those people that will remain? Or are they from whatever new creation comes out of the destruction? All the miscreants will be killed. And there must be some pious, they remain. Do you think of this in terms of a historical event that will occur in the lifetime of your disciples? No. This will happen at least 4 lakh years from now. So at that time, at that time my disciples will be with Krishna. Vivo. And those 
who will not follow them, they will see the fun, how they are being killed. Will people still be chanting Hare Krishna in 4 lakh years? No. Hare Krishna will be finished within 10,000 years. There will be no more Hare Krishna. So what will be left? Nothing. I will kill you and eat you and you shall kill me. You shall eat me. That will be left. After 10,000 years? Yes. There will be no grain, no milk, no sugar, no fruit. So I will have to eat you and you will have to eat me. Full facility for meat eating. Full facility. Krishna is very kind. He will give you a facility. All right. Why cows and calves? You take your own son. Yes, eat nicely. Just like serpents, snakes, they eat their own offspring. Also tigers. This will happen. And there will be no brain to understand God. No preachers, nothing. And then Krishna will come. All right, let me kill you so that you will be saved. But you see it as actually a historical thing of 10,000 years for the chanting. Now it will increase. Until? Up to 10,000 years. And then? Then diminish. So what is the purpose right now? People will take advantage of this up to 10,000 years. Then they will... So this is like the last row, the last gas. Yes. So the sooner we take shelter, shelter of Krishna consciousness, the better. When did this yuga begin? The yuga began 5,000 years ago. Where is all this information? In the Vedic literature, the Bhagavatam. It has the detailed analysis of what goes on in the Kali Yuga? Oh, yes. I will read it to you sometime. In the 12th canto, the Kali Yuga descriptions are there. And you will find that all descriptions are coming true. Just like there is one statement, Svikare Yeva Budva He. Marriage will be performed simply by agreement between a boy and a girl. Huh? Now this is being done. And Lavanyam Keshadaranam. People will think that they have become very beautiful by keeping long hair. Hmm. That is coming true. In the Bhagavad- like men, men will be keeping very long hair and women will keep short hair. In the Bhagavad Puran, is there also provision for the Chaitanya cult? Oh yes. We have given that in our book, Teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Within this period of 10,000 years, only those who hear Krishna's name and worship Krishna by chanting, they become liberated and go back home, back to Godhead. And everybody else gets involved deeper and deeper in the Yuga. Yes, yes. So, if anyone believes in Shastra, scriptures, you should take to this Krishna consciousness. That is intelligence. To take advantage of the authorized scriptures. Shri Prabhupada ki. So, in this way Prabhupada is saying, uh, it, this is also from the Puranas, and for the next 10,000 years, uh, there will be preaching of Krishna consciousness, which will increase. Now, it's only 500 years over. How much left? 9,500, which is, which means now in the next uh, 4 5,000 years or so, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, correct, next uh, uh, 5,000 years, it's going to go to the peak. Huh? You will see that wherever you turn around, you are going to see people wearing tila, kantimala, bead bag, even now you see in a big way. And many, many preachers are coming in our movement now. Preachers are increasing. Many are young preachers, very intelligent preachers are coming. And uh, therefore, ISKCON expanded very fast. Prabhupada started about 108 temples. Now there are 1000 temples now. Which means the preaching is expanding. Within uh, the Golden Jubilee, within 50 years, our temples have become 1000 temples. So you can imagine in the next uh, 100, 200, 300 years, the next uh, Prabhupada's, we are Prabhupada's grand disciples. Prabhupada said when my grand disciples come and then further generation comes. They will be very powerful, Prabhupada said. Because society has become more stable. Iskhan society huh? has become more stable and they will be very, very committed and dedicated people. And we are seeing it also happening now. Huh? And these people will take Krishna consciousness to nook and corner. Huh? And therefore, many, many places you will find Iskhan temples popping up, voice centers popping up like this. Huh? And uh, people taking to Krishna consciousness. So it's going to go to the peak. Like when it goes to the next 5,000 years, uh, you know, wherever you turn around, you will see devotees. Huh? But then after that, it will be maintained huh? uh, till the 10,000 years. Huh? When the 10,000 years ends, after that, there is going to be a decline. Huh? And the decline gradually, the decline will increase so much so that worldwide there will be terri- terrible atheism and forgetfulness of God. People plunge it in sense gratification. Huh? So, 
and uh, then will there be devotees or no devotees in another conversation prabhu says there will be very handful of devotees in nukan corner they can only within closed walls hold the door and chant hari krishna secretly <laughs> everywhere otherwise nobody will be allowed any public calling out of the holy name and wearing tilak in a public place just like in some countries you know you can't practice your dharma openly correct no there is a restriction taboo in some countries they have their own religion in one of the countries i heard if they find any any other religious group flourishing they will have acid bath they will put catch a person <laughs> tie his hands like this and dip him in acid solution when they pull out only skeleton will be there huh? person will be finished there are some places like that where they do that some places so there will be opposition for your practice so even if you want to practice you have to close within closed doors closed windows you have to practice secretly there will be handful of people practicing at that time the world becomes a very okay somebody may say okay at least i can practice in my home no you can't live peacefully just like if you see this ukraine Uh, i saw some of the videos you know when russia what these fellows did russians you know they took the tankers into the city huh? and they are bombarding the housing colonies <laughs> like that so if people have to come down they go underground they have what do you call that cellar uh, cellar type of thing huh? bunkers bunkers yeah bunkers so now bunkers they went so one uh, lady was weeping she said she and her husband and three children uh, they are in the bunker but the problem with bunker is how many days you can remain there correct no because after some days the food gets over now the husband has to come out for to fetch some food and when he, as soon as a person comes out these people are just waiting as soon as the person comes out immediately they finish it they they shot many many people like that uh, so you can see how deadly this world becomes because food and water is a very essential thing huh? you can't survive without that even if you agree to pass stool in one corner of the room huh? you know but to food and water you have to go out huh? from the bunker you have to come out so in this way one country is posing danger for another country similarly the israel and hamas there are many local wars going on here and there huh? but when kaluga becomes ripe then it becomes more and more uh, bigger huh? political groups social riots religious riots huh? and uh, upper class lower class huh? and then as i told you like in one one place in america you know they were telling that in this area earlier there were some group of companies and these companies moved back to china huh? for some reason so naturally the uh, there were people many of them working there earlier afro american people were working there now they don't have jobs now so imagine when people working in a factory they are laid off not one or two thousands of them then what they will do because they have wife they have children they need food and there are no job no money what they will do stealing uh, initially they were stealing some of them were caught and beaten up later on they got the guns they put the gun at the gun point they loot the rich people many they even shoot rich people sometimes to loot all their property even if a boy or a girl is going into a housing colony they go behind it uh, they are entering with a gun point they also enter the colony they, they take them to the room and then if two three of them come together in a group what will you do uh, they loot everything that you have sometimes even indian boys there whatever they had uh, laptop uh, smartphone everything they loot like that because once they loot then they can sell that and then they can make money and uh, survive the family can survive so this is happening right now huh? even now so they were telling certain areas you should not go very dangerous huh? because even now it's happening in pockets it's happening but as kaliyuga becomes ripe it will happen in in a big way it will happen so we can get a glimpse of kaliyuga even now kaliyuga just started like that so why am i telling you you may think that life is not so bad as we think it is because old age will come later and death will come much later uh, i am a young boy huh? you may be young boy but as a young boy i told you even current day contemporary society how about how it is heading to <laughs> i am telling you correct or not is it not true hmm? so you will see in the shrimad bhagavatam always you will find that there are many past times uh, collectively presented in the shrimad bhagavatam 
And many of these pastimes will show us the emergency that comes in this world at the least expected moment. For example, in the first canto, seventh chapter, this Ashwatthama, uh, such a foolish person, uh, he killed the five sleeping Pandava children. Correct, no? And then morning when Draupadi came and saw the children, she loudly cried. They were all beheaded uh, by Ashwatthama. The insecure creature. Uh, because he wanted to uh, see that Duryodhana becomes happy when he sees the head of the Pandavas uh, before dying. As, a, as if he is very loyal to the master. When he took the heads, Duryodhana pressed the heads and said, Hey, you fool, this is not Pandavas. Who is this? Pandavas children. What a shameless fellow you are. Uh, you are killing sleeping children. Even he didn't like it. Who? Uh, even he didn't like it. Huh? But he is, this fellow is uh, telling him that Duryodhana will die peacefully, already I have killed the Pandavas, he is saying. Huh? So, you can see how Pandavas faced the inevitability, very great challenge. After that, you know, you know that uh, Arjuna and Krishna boarded the chariot and chased after him. And he was punished also. But after punishment also, did he become reformed? Second time, he is throwing two Brahmastras. Huh? One Brahmastra and the Pandavas to finish them. Another Brahmastra to kill the last posthumous child, Parikshit. At that time, uh, you know, Pandavas actually are totally dependent on the Lord. Huh? They are in, in, innocent, innocent devotees. By the time they picked up the weapons, it was too short, short a time. Uh, you know, the Brahmastra goes like, uh, like a streak of lightning. It just goes very fast. Huh? You know, in one moment it can, not only Brahmastra can reach a spot very quickly, it also will attack only the person on whom it is aimed at. Hmm? Exactly. Huh? That is the power of this Brahma. It will exactly mark the target and hit the target. And other than the target, it will not touch anybody. If two people are walking on the road, A and B, if it is targeted on A, it will only hit A. And B will not be touched. Not like the modern day bombs, it kills everybody. Huh? It's not like that. So Brahma, Brahmastra is aimed at somebody. So it is aimed at the five Pandavas. So they just cannot escape. Hmm? And Krishna immediately took his chakra hmm? and cut off the Brahmastra immediately. He didn't allow the Brahmastra to approach the Pandavas. Another Brahmastra was sent to the womb of Uttara. Uttara came running. Pahi Pahi Mahayogin Deva Deva Jagat Pate Nanyam Tadavayam Pashe Yatra Mrityu Parasparam She is telling, when Mrityu Parasparam, when death has come very close, this is the greatest emergency for a living entity in this world. Huh? Because now you are going to be asked to quit the body. Is it not true? Huh? At the time of death. So when Mrityu has come very near, she said, I am not worried about my body, but I am very concerned about my child. Why? Because this is the only Shishu in the Pandava clan who is likely to rule the world and protect the dharma in this world. So to see the dharma protected, I want to see this child saved. And I am ready to leave my body if need be. So she was a great mother, Kshatriya mother. She wanted to see the dharma perpetuated. Therefore she prayed to Krishna. So then Krishna naturally entered her womb and then with a mace in his hand went round and round and then protected the child. Correct, no? So you can see that how uh, danger came to her and she understood. Although Pandavas were right there, she didn't take shelter of Pandavas. She understood that even they can't help her at that time. When death has come so close, the only person who, who can be sought help is Krishna himself. So she ran to Krishna. So, uh, in this world, uh, the death is like the pralaya of the material body. Correct, no? But you will see that many of us, we don't have realization of what death is. Eh? Because when you are young, it is very difficult to understand it. Like, you know, one, one boy, he got a, you know, some, this finger became little brownish and blackish. And he was wondering why. He didn't know that. He went to the doctor and the doctor said, oh, this is something like a cancerous element spreading in your finger. So, this finger has to be amputated, he said. And the boy thought, my Lord, if finger is removed, people will say that I am only, a, you know, charungaliwala. I will only have four fingers. People will tease me. So, he told the doctor, doctor, can you repair this finger properly? Sorry, this has to be amputated. So, he left the doctor and went to another doctor. 
went to different different doctors they all said you have to amputate but by the time he he spent some 6 months he started spreading to other fingers huh? now the doctor told him you have to remove this much huh? so he was thinking oh is the wrist is removed my lord i will look like this without a hand how can i walk in the road people will look at me then he said i will go to america huh? and uh, i will do something but in there also he went from hospital to hospital many people huh? then doctor told him that you have to remove this much huh? and they said if you don't remove it is going to spread all over your body now i am telling you we, we are all not ready even for one finger to be removed from the body we want how many of you want complete body correct na no? you want your complete body correct na no? one finger we are not ready to remove you can see that huh? but you, you can see that at the time of death how many fingers are removed whole body is removed therefore it is painful huh? the pain mainly comes because of our attachment attachment to the metal body we have attachment to everything huh? like uh, for example some boys as they grow in number of years slowly they become little baldy you have seen that huh? here hair grows only from here here it doesn't grow and these boys get so much depression huh? because now they go to doctor and doctor says he will do something to you know they will show a very nice picture he was a baldy before and then now he got a lot of hair huh? yeah and then they go to doctor and then so much lakhs of rupees is spent and little hair may come huh? but not up to his expectation here he has thick hair and here only a little bit like a dot 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 is showing he is still not satisfied he is a doctor has cheated me he took 4 lakh rupees and nothing has come out isn't it so you can see that we want to protect protect this body and keep this body very comfortable but any time this body can undergo some disorder some one man came and told my son son kidneys are not working earlier one kidney failed and second kidney is also failed now any time the young boy has to leave the body yeah. similarly I, i because i come across so many people in my travels like oh, there was one little girl you know she she was just about 5 years old 5 or 6 years old that's all and she has got some complication in the body something cancerous no? so they gave chemotherapy at that age can you imagine no? chemotherapy but ultimately doctors told her, sorry we won't be able to help they going ah. so uh, then uh, they had called me to the house for a bhagavatam installation program so when i went the father was a big man is a ceo of a company big house and big bungalow big car but this man this man was weeping like a child hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna it's echoing too much huh? all right so this man so this man uh, was weeping and he asked me see we had only one little daughter and uh, she also the doctor say that in another 2 3 weeks she will be gone huh? and how will we take it huh? what to do so i told him to read the chitragetu section huh? after giving the maximum uh, bhagavatam set why chitragetu section anybody knows the lord huh the lord ah correct so when he reads that chitragetu section he will understand that chitragetu also lost his yes, son and how he cried he cried more than this fellow also yes. correct na <laughs> both uh, king and queen were crying so if king of the world could not protect his son from dying how can this fellow protect his little daughter he thought i can spend a lot of money and save her life but he couldn't save so i told him reading bhagavatam can actually calm our mind it can purify our mind and i said that you know in this world when we are born we come with a naked body and at that time we don't have any attachments our first attachment develops to mother then father then brother and sister then your caste people you know then you were near relatives and friends and everybody then after that uh, one woman comes in your life who will be called as your wife eh? and then after that uh, you both will beget some children four or five children then multi- attachments multiply correct no? you need to, so first part of her life goes in increasing our attachments 
Next part of our life, attachments are cut off one by one. We are not cutting off. We are stripped off our attachments. Painfully. Correct, no? You know. So, when those attachments, what we are attached to are taken away, every one one thing is taken away. Amama is dying. You know. Amama is mother's mother. Our father's mother. Our father's father, mother's father, they die. Painful. Later on, mother, father are taken away. Later on, brothers, sisters are taken away. Relatives are taken away. And then finally, our, our body is also taken away. So it's a very painful thing because we first develop attachments and then later on they are taken away. That's very, very painful. So what the Bhagavatam says, before that, you know, that time comes when your attachments are going to be taken away, you become detached by the juice of Krishna consciousness. Say, for example, in your wound, you got a, you got a wound in your knee. You have put a, what do you call it, band-aid, huh? a plaster, what do you call that? Is it the strip you put now, what do you call that? Band-aid. Band-aid, huh? Uh, so, next day morning, you want to change it, you, you try to remove it. Along with that, hair also comes out. Huh? It's very painful. But if you put some water, then it comes out very smooth. Similarly, det- detachment in this world is uh, smooth or painful? painful? Painful. But if you have that water of juice of Krishna consciousness, then it becomes... Very easy. So you know that ultimately Goloka, Goloka to Goloka, I have to go. Huh? My place is spiritual world. Amijato, Amchagawa, he is hang over uh, Tukaram. Yeah. We have to go back to our eternal home. That's everybody's home. Huh? It's home of you and home of your mother, father, grandfather, grandmother. That's your eternal home. Huh? Once you are aware of that place, then detachment uh, can easily come in the things of this world. And that, and that detachment will not come overnight. You have to cultivate it. Therefore, every morning you are getting up doing Mangalarti, Narsangati, Tulsiarti, chanting Japa, reading books, hearing classes. Because the detachment from matter, attachment to Krishna, and cultivating the mood of servant of servant, which is Dasanudas, not Basanubas. Generally, all young boys are in what mood? Dasanudas or Basanubas? Basanubas. So these three are the goal of life. Detachment from matter, attachment to Krishna, and servant of the servant mode. It's called Das. Huh? So, uh, Das, D for detachment from matter. A for attachment to Krishna. And S for? Yeah. So, when this is cultivated, then we can develop uh, detachment. Then we can be peaceful. Otherwise, anytime... Uh, Anything that you are attached to may be taken away. There are boys who connect with girls in the first year without permission of their father. Correct, no? Huh? And they spend also a lot of money. They spend also a lot of time also taking them around. I if it's a very important responsibility somebody has given them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is called as purchased responsibility. What responsibility? And who purchased it? These fellows. He has father allotted? Has his teachers allotted? Is it alerted by the college? No. Then who alerted? Their own whimsical mind. <laughs> has told them, you take responsibility. As if she is a wife only. <laughs> At the time of marriage, you can accept. Agni Mala Mandal, you do catch, uh, you know, the girl's hand, and go around the fire. Because father is alerting you. Uh, responsibility. That is proper. But in the college, you catch somebody and then you, it's called self-created duty. <laughs> And then they t- take her to park, take her to beach, and one day she'll be crying and you have to pacify her as if it is your big responsibility. Huh? You know, how foolish people, huh? isn't it? These fellows created an artificial attachment. And fi- <coughs> finally, this fellow failed in paper, exam, he couldn't get a job. And the girl says, Are you good for nothing? So that boy is better than you. I'm running with him. Huh? Mm-hmm. Then she runs with another boy and the, with broken love. So this broken love, is say, love cannot be broken unless you cultivated it. Correct, no? You developed love for a person whom you don't deserve to cultivate that love. You artificially created your own duty. And you connected and then now you are giving, being cut. How? So your crying is also foolishness. Huh? Because crying for what? Crying for a relation which never existed. Correct, no? So therefore one has to think in this world, when you come to Krishna consciousness, you, you will not be allowed to cultivate false relationships. Huh? Like these foolish boys do. So, uh, in, in Krishna consciousness, you understand that this material world is not a permanent place. Like we're saying, you know, 
ಶೀತ ಆತಪ ಬಾತ ಬರೀಷನ ಎದಿನ ಯಾಮಿನಿ ಜಾಗಿರಿ ವಿಫಲೆ ಸೇವಿನೋ ಕೃಪಣ ದುರ್ಜನ ಚಪಲ ಸುಕಲ ಬಲಾಗಿರಿ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ದೇ ಆಲ್ವೇ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೈಸ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಹೇಟ್ ಐಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ Uh, uh, from beginning with november december january february march ice ice everywhere you can come out of the house cold winds are blowing they are fed up with cold climate so what they want warm wow. wow. they want to look at the sun so in the summer season when sun comes everybody is out of the house park and beach and everywhere you will find people with their families and, and that's why they have three months holidays during summer just to enjoy the uh, sun and in india people are fed up with heat of the sun huh? they are thinking americans are happy huh? these fellows are fed up with heat they are fed up with cold so who is happy nobody is happy but they are thinking that they must be happy correct no everybody imagine that's why he is saying sheeta atapa bata barishana edana yamini jagire vifale sevinu kripana durajana in this world we are slogging hard working in a company for making money which will be finished at the time of death and working for you know fools uh, who are eating cow flesh eh? and that kind of people we are serving instead of serving the lotus feet of krishna we are serving people you know who are themselves sinful fellows by serving the sinful you become sinful also eh? so and then uh, and then he is saying after that next par what he says yedana yavana putra pare jana ite ke ate parati tire kamala dal dal jivan tal mal bhaja ho hari pada ni tire bolie ye dana yavana putra pare jana ite ke ate parati tire kamala dal dal jivan tal mal bajahu hari padani tire he <coughs> saying that you know ye dana yavana this wealth mother father grandmother grandfather wife children family estate your car your laptop your smartphone huh? all these things are all around you but how are they he saying like a drop of water on a lotus leaf how many of you have seen drop of water on lotus leaf lotus leaf has a wax or something huh? if you put a water it just uh, falls off it, it doesn't stick at all huh? that means these things you are just uh, holding on to them any time they will be gone from our hands huh? they will not be there either they will be gone or we will be gone after the scene huh? so you, know, you heard this uh, rain accident which happened in odisha you know that huh? So, you know how many people died in that? No. How much? 500 people. Oh, 500 people. Huh? 500 people died. How many times? Three trains collision. Huh? Three trains. Generally, we think trains are more safe, correct? No? The aeroplanes are more dangerous, we think, because it goes up in the sky. Huh? And if the if aeroplane crashes, you are gone. You just chant Krishna Nama Govinda, that's all. Huh? Huh? Close your eyes and you can see yourself in the next body. Huh? correct na no? correct na no? because there is no way because the airplane is completely packed and closed and correct na no? no it is kept train generally we think if uh, some problem happens i'll jump out of the train we will think like that <laughs> correct na no? but you can see three trains colliding and you know 500 people dying is unheard of huh? therefore the trains in that uh, direction nowadays have become very slow nowadays huh? every day 6 hours late 8 hours late they are trying to set it right but the point is in this world uh, i think in hyderabad only you know one fellow was going in his car on a flyover very fastly and he was uh, talking in the mobile he lost control and the car toppled from the this thing and fell down one lady was walking it fell on her head on the spot she died in hyderabad it happened yeah so this is kamala dalachala she is walking on the road you know she never would have expected a car will come from the sky huh? and fall on her head you know would she have expected that generally from the flyover after that the flyover they are making some this thing also nowadays increasing the side height also they are increasing but the point is what 
in this world at the least expected moment anything can happen so this body is a very fragile body made up of panchamahabhut huh? so you may be a young boy you may be a old man makes no difference because this fragile body can uh, get hit any time huh? but some accident some this thing happens least expected moment one thing is to die on the spot another thing is to get some terrible accident by which you have to be bedridden that's even more like somebody climbed on a, a tree you know in a village he tried to pluck some mangoes or something like that huh? but then from there he fell and he broke his spine huh? so after he broke his spine the doctor said that they tried to repair it but for him to get up is difficult can you imagine being in the bed for 5 6 years and then dying how painful it is huh? this body is a very fragile body that we should never forget huh? you know whether it is spine whether it is thighs whether it is hand leg any part of the body brain every part of the body is extremely fragile and you are seated in this bodily machine huh? and you are the soul seated inside and you are allowed to live in this body for a certain term of period term you are not the owner of the body you are a tenant in this body hmm? and what is the rent that you are paying you don't know what is the rent you are paying for staying in this body karma Uh, good karma and bad karma is the money that you are paying so you did some good karma for which you are allowed to reside in this body for a certain term after which you will be asked to okay just like they have a agreement 11 months or something correct no they make agreement similarly this is the term super soul has put you in this body and he is also residing with you watching you at a certain time super soul understands that now it is time for you to quit the body so he is the first one to leave you know that uh, upeksha he will do upeksha to the body when he leaves then the soul runs behind him huh? because he can't uh, stay without super soul when super soul leaves just like you will see if a uh, father and a child are in one room you know in a lodge or somewhere now the father is going to go to the airport he uh, takes his suitcase and goes out child will run with him correct na no? because child doesn't know what to do alone there huh? we are also like that we are dependent super soul quits the body we also quit the body mm-hmm. and we have to go with him and that quitting moment can be is there a possibility that you know when it will going to come when it's going to come for you that's not known because it is not known therefore you have to be alert correct no you have to be alert just like you are going in a train you are putting your smartphone for charging you have to keep an eye on that correct no otherwise imagine you are looking at the green grass in the outside the window very beautifully and then after charging you look for the mobile somebody has taken it already correct no anything you keep laptop mobile and all you have to be alert similarly we have to be red alert any time this body fragile body can be taken away and uh, right now are we fully krishna conscious we are not so we have to prepare ourselves huh? that's the whole point so he saying kamala dalla jala jeevana talamala bajagu hari padani tire he saying that this body is a very temporary body fragile body huh? so Uh, and bhagavatam is full of emergency example gajendra was a king of the jungle but at the least expected moment his leg was caught by a crocodile just see he never expected and initially he didn't know the danger of the crocodile he thought such a small creature i am such a big creature just wanted to you know throw away the crocodile but the crocodile was creature of water he caught him very very firmly then gajendra realized that this was very firm Huh? even when you get some disease as a young boy you go to doctor okay tell me doctor how much money take this money throw the money and take the medicine you think you will be all right and the doctor says no it's not a small disease it's a little more bigger one keep coming and then we realize my lord it's a very big one huh? so that's what happened with him then he turned around and saw his wife and relatives and family they are all trying to pull his the tail huh? can you save a elephant by pulling the tail he understood these guys cannot help at last he was fully put into the traumatic situation he prayed to the lord huh? narayana akil guru bhagavan namaste the surrender came when he understood his, his emergency huh? so he was not struck in complacency hmm? he was fully and same with uh, vijbasi is attacked by water uh, of the samvartaka clouds uh, sent by indra ajamila you know suddenly death came and striking him down and yamudutha sir coming to take him to yamaloka so that another emergency he faced you can see that and you can see so many emergency situation you will find in the shrimad bhagavatam ambarish maharaj is peacefully practicing devotee suddenly 
Durvasa is creating a big demon to, you know, kill him, attack him. You can see that. Huh? So, Santikanta, Prahalad, you see, he is simply chanting Hare Krishna and for that his father is trying to make assassination attempts. Huh? You know, put him under the elephants or throw him from a cliff, you know, submerge him in an ocean. How many kinds of troubles he gave. Huh? That means Bhagavatam is full of examples where devotees are facing different type of emergency situations. And in that emergency situation, what did they do? They took shelter of Krishna. Yeah, sometimes they get a test like Bali Maharaj. At one time he was like a billionaire. Next moment he became a pauper. In one moment, the, uh, somebody may say, what a stroke of destiny. Huh? From billionaire to beggar, he became in one moment. But the only good thing about Bali Maharaj is he surrendered to Supreme Lord in that situation. And he became glorious. His name entered into the 12 Mahajans list. Yeah? And he became, his names writ, became written in golden letters for all time to come. This is what precisely I am trying to say. Yeah, uh, you know, the emergencies uh, should not frighten us, but they should give us the impetus to run to Krishna's lotus feet. That's the main point. Hmm. So, but if somebody becomes frozen by emergency and dangers in this world and becomes depressed, that's a big loss. Huh? Many boys, it's happening nowadays. Boys and girls are becoming depressed. And uh, in Western countries, it's happening all the more. Correct, no? But the, for those who are Krishna conscious, you know, you have a bright hope that awaits you. Hmm? Because first of all, you know, you are not the body, you are the spirit soul. And you know, the soul is also accompanied by the super soul. And you know, this is material world and spiritual world. Your original home is which one? Spiritual world. Huh? So you know that and there, the soul cannot be cut by scissor, cannot be burned by fire, cannot be washed by water. Soul is always safe. Huh? Soul is very powerful because it's Krishna's part and parcel. Huh? Right now we are in a precarious position because of the material body in which we are trapped now. Huh? So understand these truths and cultivate this knowledge by daily hearing classes, daily reading. And we should live in this world in a renounced temperament. Renounced temperament means uh, here today, gone tomorrow. Huh? That's the situation of every thing in this world. Now we are here and we, are, we can't say how long the, with the current situation continue. Huh? Whether you have a job, you have no job. Whether you got first class or you got fail marks. Huh? Devotee knows very well this is the nature of this world. Plus minus will always be there. Sukh, dukh, mana, pavan, shita, ushna. That's the very nature of the world. Prabhupada says danger must be there because we have put ourselves in a dangerous position. Prabhupada writes in the Kunji Manani section. Because we have put ourselves in a dangerous position. Baddhasva karma pirushattama tingri moolam prito pavarga sharanam vayase kadanu. Prahlad is saying that. Huh. He's saying that Trastos Mekham Kripana Vatsala Dusahogra Samsara Chakra Kadana Dasatam Pranita Baddhasva Karma Pirushattama Tengri Moolam Ritopa Varga Sharanam Phayase Kadanu Oh my dear Lord Narasimha, I'm not afraid of the cycle of birth and death. I'm not afraid of the pains of the samsara. But I'm afraid of the bad association of the atheistic fellows who always criticize you, who never glorify you. Hmm. Their association is abominable, obnoxious. <laughs> I don't want to be surrounded by atheistic people who always oppose your law huh? and uh, trouble themselves and trouble other, other creatures also. Huh? And then the Lord uh, Narasimha is asking, So, Prahlad, what do you mean? Did I throw you there? And he says, No, my dear Lord. Bhaddasva karma bir. By my own karma, I have come to this world. Vushatama hmm. tengri moolam. When will the time come, my dear Lord, you will call me back to your abode where I can see you face to face, I can massage your feet, I can serve you. Uh, please take me back. Like that, Prahlad is praying. So, we should always keep this in the top of our mind that to go back home, back to Godhead. So, I will show one small video and we conclude. This is my favorite video. How many of you know Marathi here? Few. Yeah. Others can see English one. Yeah, the sound is not huh? Is it correct? Is it correct? Pandu Ranga, 
पीला सुखी थी श्रद्धा अचल होते चित्त शुद्ध होते वैर संचारी मनाला ईश्वरी प्रेमा खिरीस कशा नहीं वेसन घाता ये नहीं मना प्रेमय अवस्थे एक विध भाव होता अखंड नामोच्चारा हा एक विध भाव अपने अंतकरण उत्पन्न करून परमेश्वर प्राप्ति करून घेता ये मै मुखी नाम हाथी मोक्ष ऐसी साक्ष बहुत अवघे लाभ होती या चिंतने नाम संकीर्तने गोविंद हा हा पैला हरी शंख चक्र शोभे करी शंख चक्र शोभे करी शंख चक्र शोभे करी करुण ये तो फड़कारे नाभि नाभि मने स्वरे नाभि मने स्वरे नाभि नाभि मने स्वरे मुकुट मुंड लांचा दीप्ती तेजे लोपला गबस्ती लोपला गबस्ती तेजे लोपला गबस्ती मेघ श्याम वर्ण हरी मूर्ति दोल सी डोलस साजरी मोटी डोलस साजरी चतुर्भुज वै जयंती गला माल हे रुलती गला माल हे रुलती गला माल हे रुलती पीता मर झड़के कैसा उजड़ जाता ही दिशा उजड़ जाता ही दिशा उजड़ जाता ही दिशा तुका झाला से संतुष्ट घरा आले वही कुंत पीठ आले वही कुंत पीठ घरा आले वही कुंत पीठ आम्ही जातो आमच्या गावा आमचा राम राम जावा राम राम जावा आमचा राम राम आम्ही जातो आमच्या गावा आमचा राम राम जावा राम राम जावा आमचा राम राम जावा तुमची आमची हे ती भेटी हे दुनिया जन्मती हे दुनिया जन्मती हे दुनिया जन्मती आता असो जारी दया तुमच्या लागत ते पाया लागत ते पाया तुमच्या लागत ते पाया हे यथानी कोणी विठ्ठल विठ्ठल बोलावाणी विठ्ठल बोलावाणी विठ्ठल विठ्ठल बोलावाणी रामकृष्ण मुखी बोला तुला जातो वैकुल झाला जातो वैकुल झाला तुला जातो ब्यूटिफुल नाइट इज श्री प्रभात की अच्छा प्रभात लेक्चर्स आर प्रभात असोसिएशन लेक्चर्स आर ऑल सो मच गिविंग एमरजेंसी टू हिज डिजेबल्स यू कैन सी इन प्रभात टाइम एवरी डे डिवोट इज थॉट दैट यू नो इन वन वीक वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज द होल वर्ल्ड यू नो दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड प्रीचिंग एंड यू नो काइंड ऑफ हार्ड वर्क द डिवोट इज डेट 
when they went from place to place to place, expanding the movement. And Prabhupada, Prabhupada's lectures are always in that mood that this this world is temporary. Anytime this body will come to an end, one should not put faith in the dying material body. Put faith in the uh, eternal spirit soul huh? and soul's relationship with Krishna. Huh? So, going back to God, any child will say in this con, you ask a child, what is the goal of life? You say, go back home, back to God. <laughs> That's the way Prabhupada started. But what has happened now? Now, 50 years have passed after Prabhupada went back to God. Now, many preachers are preaching very wonderfully, but sometimes they uh, they can become uh, Rashtan, the Alankar, and all, they can be relishing from the Shastra. Huh? You know, you may be relishing poetry of the Shastra. And now, because the Vedas are very vast, isn't it? Huh? Therefore, many preachers are actually going in different directions. Sometimes that emergency can get diluted, can get lost. Huh? Somebody is relishing one portion, somebody is relishing another portion. One may not feel the urgency or emergency to be Krishna conscious huh? and go back to God. And the different, different people are talking different subjects. Huh? Uh, there, there are people trying to bring new people uh, through cooking classes, through yoga, through, you know, through some, uh, you know, lighter programs, which is good, actually. If it is going to bring them to Krishna consciousness, it's good. Otherwise, it's not good. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, now, many, many organizations are talking how to lead a sattvic life. Uh, eat vegetarian food. <laughs> breathe fresh air. Uh, you know, just meditate. Uh, just, you know, wear clean dress and, you know, Always be good, always smile, be positive, be cheerful, don't be negative, don't see any bad in anybody, yeah. be good. Yeah. And then in this way, you look like a young, beautiful man and a woman looks like a young, beautiful woman and you enjoy it together, that's all. <laughs> that's their conclusion. Yeah. The Swami, Jaitus Maharaj was joking. Yeah. They said, you are a very beautiful young sattvic man and she is a sattvic woman and both enjoy it together, that's all. Yeah. They don't have anything beyond this. Yeah. Actually, sattvic life is a platform from where you have to spring to. It is a springboard to jump to spiritual platform. If you don't go to spiritual platform, your sattvic life is nothing better. Prabhupada, one man told Prabhupada, Swamiji, I am also vegetarian. He said, Prabhupada said, even a monkey is vegetarian. Prabhupada said, huh? What is so great about your vegetarian? Prabhupada said, we are not vegetarian, we are Krishnatarian. He said, we are Krishnatarian. He said, we only eat what is offered to Krishna first. So from sattva, if you don't go to Vishuddha sattva, then we remain stuck in sattva as much as we are stuck in rajas sartamas. Huh? So you all have a beautiful center here, you know, making so many devotees and reaching. One of the easiest ways to keep your emergency in spiritual life very high is to make this like a battalion. Huh? You know what's a battalion? Battalion, army battalion. See that? Every morning they will rise early and left, right, left, bump, go, turn. No, they, they do that. You have seen that? Uh, similarly, we also get up in the morning, we do Mangala Arati, Narsing Arati. That's like the march past. Correct, no? Um, similarly, you will see that, uh, you know, our uh, uh, Prabhupada said, uh, you know, go to the marketplace with a cannon huh, and throw the bombs, he said, so that, the, you know, all the material desires of the living entities will be destroyed. So what is the bomb, he said? Holy name. Uh, books also, yeah, books and the holy name. So the cannon, taking the cannon and throwing the bomb, that is actually holy name. Because if you take one gun and shoot, phew, only one person you can shoot. Or even if you take a machine gun, <laughs> three, four people you can shoot. But if you go in a helicopter and throw bombs from the top, you know, a big number of people are finished. Similarly, a big number of people are affected when you do Harinam Sankirtan. Huh? The Harinam Sankirtan is like throwing bombs from the sky. Huh? Then a lot of living entities hear the sound and they clap the hands, come and take prasad, you know. So this way throw the... And then Prabhupada said, uh, throw the bomb in the lap of the conditioned souls. What is that? That is the books. Uh, Prabhupada, they call time bomb, Prabhupada said. Books. Correct? Now, because the books are going to be lying in the cupboard. Somebody in the house will take and read it. They will become devotees. Correct? Now? So that's... A, and, and also Prabhupada said, distribute discount kind of bullets. What are the bullets? Gulab jams. Correct, no? So, just as bullet goes into the body, the person is finished. Similarly, when the ISKCON bullets go, all the materialistic propensities are finished. Eh? Then one's devotional service awakens. Eh? So, Prabhupada's, uh, uh, these explanations compare uh, devotees to soldiers. Correct, no? Soldier also follows the order of a commander. Correct, no? So, who is the commander? 
Papa is commander, Guru is commander. You know, we follow the order of the Gurus like that. Hmm? And, and we are waging a war against whom? Maya. Papa is the commander in chief. He is uh, like Maharati kind of personality. And the next time there are many other chariots who are, spiritual masters are running those chariots. Behind that there are many elephants. Temple presidents are sitting elephants. Hmm? And uh, behind that there are many horses. All the Hachodis and other people, isn't it? Then there are foot soldiers, other devotees. Everybody is carrying the weapon and running. We have to make sure we don't fight uh, with one another. Huh? We have to fight against Maya. Maya right now. So this is actually a war. Huh? So Prabhupada said, uh, how do you fight in the war? Every day prasadam should be cooked and distributed. Every day book should be printed, published and distributed. Harinam Sankirtan is going out. Uh, you know, uh, Krishna Prasad is distributed. And Krishna's books are distributed, preaching programs are started, new centers are opened, uh, many new schools, colleges, companies, uh, homes. And the program Prabhupada said in Bombay alone there should be 5,000 temples. He said, How in every house should be a temple? Prabhupada said. Every house they have a many homes of uh, you know Gaurnitai, Radha Krishna. And they should not just uh, worship them in the morning and then keep quiet. The house should be a place where they call all the neighbors of the housing colony. Huh? Bring everybody, do kirtan, cook prasad, distribute. Now, nowadays people become very lazy. Huh? Sometimes you, you go to some program, they bring, uh, you know, this uh, garland with this uh, shining thing. What do you call that? You know, the, huh? the jarikai, jarikai, you know? Yeah, this is a purchased garland. Sometimes people put it. Take garland, they put it. But I like this garland more because it is handmade. Because this requires some yatantascha. Some yeah, endeavor has to be made for this, correct? No? Uh, similarly, you know, if you are arranging a program in your house, you know, some people say we did catering for 25 devotees. Don't cater, cook at home. Huh? Because cooking involves endeavor. And you cook and offer to Krishna and then feed the people, you will make much more progress than just uh, catering and giving people. So you understand the difference between the two? That means every grihastha should endeavor, every brahmachari should endeavor. Huh? Hmm. And Brahmachari, some Brahmachari say that, you know, you, you know, you bring new people, you, they want everything should be done ready-made. Huh? Yeah. But actually, uh, Brahmachari, in the beginning days, you will see, you won't be getting anything ready-made. When Sashman came here, nothing was here. Huh? And earlier, there were three, four people huh? he started with. And now the center has grown up now. So, a lot of endeavor is required to create huh? a center, an established center. Now, your center is a well-established center now. A lot of devotees are there. But you should not think that this is the end of it. No. You should uh, take this center and multiply it. Huh? Like in I, I, uh, certain IITs, we have four or five uh, centers we have. Huh? Similarly, this center is becoming full. You can start two more or three more centers. Where more leaders are here, then one more leader goes and starts one one center. And uh, in certain colleges have thousands of boys, correct? No? Certain areas. Then you can have many centers like that. So more the merrier, correct, no? Sometimes you want to bring them together monthly, once or twice, you can bring them in a hall. Huh? All the center boys can come together. So, or you can also preach in other places which are slightly away from here. Idea is, you know, unless you expand this movement uh, and to take as many souls as possible before the end of this 10,000 years, like Prabhupada says, correct, no? Otherwise, afterwards, the world is going to be very terrible. So, by working for the welfare of others, you also get benefit by that. You will go back to Godhead and they will also go back to Godhead. Both parties benefit. Correct, no? Shri Prabhupada ki. Thank you very much.